there we go putting it in position I am going to simply do the edit copy edit paste again and line it up so that they're together and then move it straight on up top so we have one hundred dollars on the top and the bottom now now for our middle and this is where it gets a little fun because you can be really creative I typically will tell you to make sure you have a theme in mind of what kind of dollar bills you want so um, puppies seem to be really popular with both boys and girls uh, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and insert and PowerPoint typically has quite a bit of clip art already available so I'll click on that there my menu opens here and I'll we'll search for puppy hit enter and there we have a bunch of puppy pictures and clip art we'll move this open to see what we have available and this is going to be our puppy money Oh, maybe this guy's cool. We'll double click on him. He gets thrown there and we'll move this back so we have a little more room to work. Okay. Now, with your this being centered here, we can also crop by using the toolbar in this area that ends up and crop it by moving it closer so we have it smaller there. And okay, now that we have it set to the way we want it, we'll click on the outside to get it back to the dots and we can shrink this down to size and put, oh he's still a little too big put him in there so he's our hundred dollar puppy dollar now there's also another tool that's available that looks like this here set transparent color by clicking on this, if you set and sit on a quarter there, it will actually allow the colors on the corners to actually come across and disappear. It doesn't look like this one is well, because of the edging there. That's what it looks like, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and leave that there. And what we can then now put is just a little bit of. Um, text on the inside let's use this one here oh, let's use the color one this one this time we're going to be putting in um, puppy money am I hitting ok there let's shrink that in that's still there, that should work, and we're going to stick it right in here. Okay, and then we're going to Control C and to copy, and Control V to paste, and move that over there. So we have our puppy money good to go. Let's go ahead and center this out a little bit more. Move this down a little. Great. All right, so we have our hundred dollars now. From here, at this point here, what we want to do is then copy the whole thing. Edit, edit, copy, edit, paste, and we can drag now all of it together. And once we find the bot where we want it, we'll move it up. And now I'm using my arrow keys, of course, to get it to a position that's nice there. Then we'll highlight the whole thing together. And again, we're going to Control C, Control V, line this up straight straight down actually we can go ahead and oh too far okay and then we'll control C and then paste it again and move straight down okay now we have our $100 of your money ready to go and you can just hit your print and you have your sheets coming out and we had, I usually recommend that everybody do it this way first and then <clears throat> have more and more dollars being made by your sheets because that way you can just print sheets out at a time if you try to make all different bills on one page 
um, and you need more ones, which you typically will, than fives and or hundreds, then what's going to happen is you're going to end up having to print and have all this extra waste at larger bills. But this is an example of how to do it. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned on our next video. I'm going to show you how to use this center area here and put your picture in place of this here and how to do a nice perfectly round circled cropped area. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at info at printplaymoney.net. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.